Doddington Hall's restaurant and cafe stands at the heart of a traditional estate just five miles from Lincoln. Our menus are designed to showcase our homegrown produce. Our kitchen garden produces a huge variety of crops such as beans, tomatoes, chard, pumpkins, squashes and much, much more. Here's Dan, one of our gardeners, to elaborate. Uh, so we've got crops for winter and we've got crops for summer. Uh, winter's just as important here as, 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 a, as, a, as the summer season. Uh, we have a meeting over a coffee and kind of discuss uh, what went well over the, over the year, what crops grew well, what the, the public responded well to. Through that we kind of get a list together then basically of the, of the crops to be grown for the year after. The kitchen garden's open every day. The visitors are welcome to come in through the gates, see exactly where it comes from, see that it's the kind of, kind of the real thing. It's an amazing environment to work in. You know that what you're doing is, is, has got a final outcome. So I'm, I'm growing vegetables and they're, they're getting used, they're getting loved, they're getting appreciated. And yeah, it's great, great to be part of something like that. As well as the fruit and vegetables, we are famous for our use of wonderful game from the estate and for our Lincoln red beef. So on the estate, we have cows, pigs and chickens. From time to time, we have the odd sheep. Our most important herd is the Lincoln Red herd that you see behind me. The Lincoln Red was at one point an endangered species because it was a general purpose cow which could be both milked or used for beef. Our herd is entirely for beef and in fact such is the demand that all of our beef goes into either the restaurant or the farm shop. Our chefs work with the gardeners, the front of house staff and the management team to create wonderful menus that maximise use of our produce and most importantly of all, look and taste fantastic. Here is our head chef Chris to tell you more. We prepare like a different range of products for both our farm shop, cafe and restaurant. We also got um, a function suite for weddings as well so we do everything from tray bakes and cakes. Um, we also have things like steaks on, fish cakes, fish and chips, and also some more higher standard food for our restaurants as well. We source as much as we possibly can from the kitchen garden, from you know, the estate. I think we use probably about 80% from the kitchen garden, and then we have to buy in from another supplier for our general sort of things. Everything is quite local for us. We try and organise every month for the chefs to go out, all of us together, and we taste and look and see what's coming through in the kitchen garden every month. We try it see what it's like, see if we can put it on our menu for like the next month or next couple of months. There's no doubting our chef's passion for using our homegrown produce, but our front of house team are also critical to our success because this is their knowledge and enthusiasm for our produce that sells the menus to the customers. The Doddington Cafe and Restaurant has been trading for the last three years in its present form as a 62 cover self-service cafe and an, a waitress service restaurant which serves 52 people. The business has gone from strength to strength. It gets incredibly busy because we're so popular thankfully but the staff are always here to handle the queues and to help as much as possible. We always find time to interact with new customers and returning customers alike and all the team are trained to smile at all times. We're really proud of how our chefs use our own produce in our restaurant and cafe and of how hard our front of house team work to make our customers experience the best it can be. But don't take it from us, take it from our customers. Uh, I visit Dorrington Hall because it's uh, um, a lovely place in a lovely place. Uh, the breakfasts are excellent. Uh, I think my favourite thing is the fact that um, the staff are always very cheerful. It's, it's always a pleasant place to come to in that regard. And the other thing is when you eat here, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get locally sourced good food. It's better, you know, if you can support local farmers, local growers, you know, what's not to like. Thank you.